Hi, you crafters, Amy here, and I'm so excited to share this video with you. This is an out of my comfort zone collaboration. Now, I know you're surprised, but I have a stencil here that I'm going to use. This is the round fragment stencil. It's a six by nine from A Colorful Life Designs, and it's one of my absolute favorite. I have a few untouched shimmer sprays. I've had them for a while, but I haven't used them, and they're gorgeous. Uh, I have some 110 pound cardstock that I die cut with that paper rose stitched edge die. And this is the lovely Allison Hykela. Uh, she is a delightful crafty friend of mine. We've been friends for a while and we have so much in common, but our crafty styles could not be more different. So that's what stemmed the theme of our collaboration today. We're both going to go outside of our comfort zones and kind of create more like the other one. So I'm going to create a little more edgy, a little more grungy with layers, and I'm actually going to create a shaker card with these fabulous little sparkle blends. Um, if you're familiar with Al, then you know she works with um, Doodle Paper Play Doodle's Paper Playground. That's who I ordered all of these awesome sparkle blends from. Um, but she does lives, I think weekly, showcasing, or maybe it's monthly, um, showcasing all of these awesome products. So be sure to check that out if you're on Facebook. Um, but she's going to do a video that's more my style. So maybe batching or clean and simple, maybe more white space, which is really out of her comfort zone. So this is gonna be really fun. I'm gonna try and create like her um, using some tips that I've picked up from watching her fabulous videos. And then she's gonna kind of create a little more my style. So I hope you enjoy the theme. I'm just showing you all these awesome sparkle blends. I'm only going to use one of them today, but they all have these adorable, hilarious, punny little names for all the little blends. Um, and I went a little crazy shopping, but you know, I love to support small business. So I will link this company in the video description box below with all the other products. Um, they are on Etsy and there are so many of these cool blends to choose from. So if you want these for embellishments or shakers, be sure to check out this awesome shop. And as you can see, she even put that cute little note in the sucker in the beginning of that adorable flamingo packaging. So it's those little things. I love those things as a consumer. I don't know about you guys, but anyway, I'm just showing you some of these have little clay pieces with adorable little critters. And here's the card that I'm going to make for you today. You can see as I go close up, I actually made the shaker with tool. Now I learned this from watching one of Al's videos. I had never seen it before um, and she actually sent me one of the cards using tools. So I'll show you that in a little bit. But to start, I am have my splat box out and I'm gonna use these shimmer sprays and then I decide eh, I better use some pixie spray. So I stop the filming and spray it with some pixie spray and then adhere it down really good on the cardstock with my brayer and then I just start spritzing these three colors onto the card panel. Now, if I was thinking, I would have probably started with the teal color, um, just because green and pink don't really get along. Um, I should have maybe done teal in the middle, but it ended up okay in the end. So I'm gonna come in with this teal, and I'm just kind of spraying um, messily around this design. And then you'll see here in a moment, I'm just gonna lift it up and take a look at the panel. Nice little reveal here. Taking my time. There's my fingers, nice and closed up. <laughs> anyway, you can see that pixie spray really held on to it and helped get the definition of the stencil with some added plastic as a bonus. Um, but super shimmery, the light doesn't really do it justice. But here I see all this gorgeous ink and I'm thinking, I'm not gonna waste that. So I carefully lay it down on another panel, careful not to shift it. And again, I use my brayer just to really push that down. Now, I didn't even need to spray it with water because it is a liquid medium. So I knew that it would actually just go right onto the cardstock. Um, and I'm just pushing that down, giving it a moment to suck into the paper. And then as I reveal that, I audibly gasped when I saw this. It was so gorgeous. And you can really see that shimmer. You can see it in the photographs a little bit better, but I ended up deciding to use that panel instead of the first one. And, and again, I can't waste this ink, so I'm spritzing some water on it and I'm just kind of using another panel and doing a little smoosh technique. And I realized, uh, it's not 
really looking exactly how I want. Some of the colors are a little bit muddied up, so I decided to get the bottles out since they're still on my desk and do a couple other little splats. So when all said and done, I have a couple extra panels that I can use for future cards, so I'll just tuck those aside um, for a future project. But that's a fun little way to not waste the ink. Now here is the card that Al sent me. She sent it to me last Halloween, and it is so cute. You can see she used a white tool, um, her gorgeous stamp on the back, and she did some gorgeous Copic coloring. But that's the inspiration for today's card. So I decided to use this panel, like I said, and I did cut that down with my stitched edge die. And I shopped my sentiment book and got this Love You Out. Now this is a pretty pink glittery cardstock, and I liquid glued it down. Um, I wanted to make sure it was really flush. I didn't want the sequins and stuff to get stuck on it. So I'm using my, actually my embossing tool from um, the rabbit hole designs just to kind of dust over it just to make sure there's nothing sticky because I want these little bits to really be able to move around. Now I know Al loves purple, so I chose a purple tool for my um, design today and I did actually already have this on hand. I'm sure many of you crafters do. I've made many a little tool tutu skirts and hair apparatus and things over the years. So I actually already had them on hand. And now I'm taking this um, Ohalo, I think is what it's called, uh, Sparkle Blend, because I know it's one of Al's favorites. And I'm just kind of supplementing it with some other sequins from my stash just to really spread out the pretty ones and add some more iridescent ones and silver ones. And we can play the how many times says Amy spill the sequins game. Um, might make for a good drinking game if that's your thing. My goodness, you can see it's ridiculous. I'm spilling them all over the place. <laughs> but anyway, I get a nice little mix. I'm kind of gauging how much to use from the card that Allison sent me because I wasn't really sure how much I would need. So I have some thin score tape here and I'm running it along the outside edge of the back of my panel. And I gotta tell you guys, I'm I'm shocked at how quickly and easily this came together. I, w I was a little intimidated. Again, this is not my comfort zone. I don't do a lot of shakers. Um, and the ones that I have done are just the more traditional ones with foam tape and things like that. So I wasn't really sure, but I did pay attention to what I learned from Al's video. Um, you kind of just pull the backer off three sides and press this down. And I kind of went back and released it again and pulled it back down because I remembered she said not to pull it too tight um, because you don't want to, I think she said you don't want to bow the cardstock or I don't know, maybe you don't want to stretch the tool. I'm not sure, but I'm just kind of cutting off the excess on the corners and then just folding over the three edges onto that score tape. And you can still feel the stickiness through it, but it's not going to be enough to then attach it securely to a card base. So I'm just adhering the three sides down and cutting off the little excess fold um, just so it doesn't have some uneven bulk when I do attach it. But overall, this is um, surprisingly flat. Even when I put the um, embellishments in there for the shaker, it's it's much flatter than any other shakers I've made. So this will be really easy to ship. Um, and like I said, it came together so quickly. So I have the three sides secured and I just have the top open and I'm just using that little tray that I just got um, with the sequins just to pour that right in. And yep, here I go again. How many times is that now? Like 57? I'm not sure. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm sarcastic and I like to exaggerate. My family uh, reminds me of that constantly. I'm a bit of an exaggerator, but whatever. Anyway, so um, I decide to hold it down before I start shaking it again so I don't spill them yet again. Um, and I make sure that they can move around freely. I was a little nervous they would get stuck on the Love You um, just because that is raised a little bit off the panel, but it really didn't. It worked out really well. So um, once I knew that it was going to work, I removed that last little bit of release paper from that strip and folded that down and cut off the little edges of bulk and that pretty much covers um, the creation of the front part of it. So this part's ready to go and then I decide, um, okay, so I need to adhere it onto a card base. So I was going to use the same score tape, which you absolutely can, but then I thought, uh, oh, I've got this crazy, super strong adhesive from scrapbook.com. This is like a three quarter inch 
um, double-sided stick tape. So I thought this will be a little bit more secure. It'll come off a little from the edge of where I have the um, tool and then I'll make sure that it's down there really good. So I'm using this bone folder. I'm still kind of getting used to it. It's new to my stash, but um, I use that to kind of stick it down. And then this is totally from the Allison Haikila playbook here, guys. <laughs> she, she does not do white borders. I do white borders. She does not. So she has all these different mediums and instead of spraying them, she paints them. Isn't this genius, guys? So you get like the perfect match. You don't have to have the bulk necessarily of, you know, another piece of cardstock unless you want it. Um, but she just, she does this all the time. It's so genius. And then it just totally matches your design. So I took the teal um, from the design and then just painted that around the edges. And I did put that piece of um, scratch paper in between just so that I wouldn't get any extra um, on the inside of the card base. So a way around this would be just to paint around, you know, another layer of cardstock. Um, but I didn't want to add any more bulk to it. So with the die cutting on this original panel, it is a little bit smaller than A2 size. So I know that that pretty teal will show. Um, and at this point I realized eh, I better put some in the middle because it was kind of lifting up a little bit when I was trying to take the backer off and I didn't want to risk it coming um, detached from the card base. So with having that secured in the middle, I knew it wasn't going to go anywhere. And this, you can see, I'm struggling to get this off my fingers. This adhesive is no joke. So I just fold back the backer. This is a way to help you kind of line it up um, so it doesn't stick down prematurely when you don't want it to. It helps you kind of have a little bit of wiggle room to line it up. And then I just remove those backer pieces and then adhere it down. And that basically finishes it. Stick around just a moment. I'll finish off the inside of the card. But I can't get over, you guys, how easy this was. And it is so cool and unexpected because, you know, we all think acetate with um, shakers. But just to use something like this tool is super cool. So this is the um, Simple Strips from Tailored Expressions. And this is the Crafty. It's either Crafty or Crafty Friend or something like that. So I pick out a couple of these that I think kind of match the theme. And then I write. Crafty friends are the best friends and crafty is the new pretty. So I feel like those fit perfect with the front of the card. And there's all the shimmer and shine and the cool texture from the tool and all the sparkle blends. And it's just shiny, pretty goodness. And it's totally inspired by my friend Al. So here is the link to her video so you can hop over and check it out. Her videos are amazing, you guys. Be sure to subscribe to her channel if you aren't already and go check it out. I'm so excited to see what she makes. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.